If you enjoy the content, like the content, just consider hitting the subscribe button. Shit. Something came walking down them fucking stairs, dude. <laughs> I felt a hand. The Whispers estate was built in 1894. In 1899, Dr. John and Jesse Gibbons bought the place. Dr. John Gibbons was a well-known, highly credited doctor in town, but his home was full of tragedy. Gibbons saw patients in his home office on the first floor of the estate, but the Gibbons were known for adopting orphaned children and accepting them into their homes as their own. Unfortunately though, the Gibbons' 10-year-old daughter Rachel started a fire in the parlor shortly after moving in. She was severely burned and passed away two days later in her upstairs bedroom. Although Rachel's death was tragic, the unfortunate family's death did not stop here. The Gibbons' 10-month-old infant daughter, Elizabeth, died of an unusual death in the master bedroom. The cause of her death still remains unknown to this day. Jessie Gibbons, which is the mother of those two, suffered from double pneumonia, leaving her to die in the same bedroom as her 10-month-old Elizabeth. Many other families who lived in this house over the years have experienced similar trauma and death. A gentleman who lived in the estate in the 60s died in the upstairs bathroom. Later, another boy died from mysteriously falling down the front staircase. Whispers Estate earned its name due to guests repeatedly reporting hearing disembodied voices whispering in their ears during their stay. up here please let me know that you're here We come in peace. Well guys, the uh, deal behind this painting here is that the previous owner had supposedly seen that at the top of the stairs. How true it is, I don't know, because I didn't see it. But yeah. Oh, girl. Set this up in here. Where should I set it actually? Did I touch that? Yeah. No, I mean like physically touch it? Oh, no. Nah. Oh shit. What? Something came walking down the <laughs> stairs, dude. <laughs> Holy <Yep. laughs> So I went to go put the recorder in that room over there, the one that it's known to have a malicious spirit in it. <laughs> and when Sigh. I, what did it say? Sigh. Sigh. Anyway, <laughs> what had happened was I went to go put that recorder in there. As soon as I stepped over the REM pod, I heard the REM pod go off, but I heard something scoot across the floor. So I asked my mom if I accidentally touched it. I didn't feel like I touched it, but it sounded like the REM pod being scooted. She said no, cause she was looking in there. Well, that, right after that happened, I was like, oh, well, that's weird. As soon as I put the freaking recorder down, I hear something f***ing walking down the damn stairs. It spooked me. I didn't see it coming. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Need help. I need help? Or do you need help? All right, what we're going to do is we're just recording a video. Or not recording a video. We were just recording with one of our voice recorders. Let me see what it said. Yours. Yeah. Man, it sounds like it says that was the spirit and the light came on again. Yeah, I feel like I'm being stared at from everywhere. <laughs> I'm a friend. 
That's actually really funny. It answered me. Like in my head, I was about to say, Rachel, do you like us being in here? No. So you do like us. Thank you. Hi right, guys, another crazy thing that is known to happen are these uh, little, I guess they're not little. Hey, she's liking that light. But these uh, beach balls, these beach balls here are known to actually get hit off the edge of the bed. Um, and obviously Rachel, which is, this is her room. She is supposed to be a 10 to 12 year old girl. It's supposed to be nice. Um, yeah, seems like every place has a little girl spirit. But so far, she seems nice if she really is here. But let's see if we can get one of these balls to fall off the bed, because that'd be about as cool as getting one of the uh, balls to fly down the stairs. Yeah. Dare. Yeah. I dare you. Dare you to push one of them balls off the bed. It's just a friendly dare, right? Can you do that for us, please? I'm not sure we're going to get Rachel to push one of these balls off the stairs. Love. Or lover, love. Rachel, do you love me? If it says yes, that's going to be some freaking... That's like a WTF moment. Raymond. Oh, you. I don't know. Hey, Rachel. Are we friends? Or do you love my mother, Misty? Which one are you talking to? That was a pretty fast blink. Patricia. Her name ain't Patricia, silly. It's Misty. Can you say Misty? Nice. So how old are you? Once I get to the correct age, will you light that flashlight up? Light that up so, you, um, so I know if you will. I'll give you five to ten seconds between each each age to be able to light that up. But we were told two or three different ages for you. It seems like no one knows your actual age. All right, shut that off, please. Thank you. That was pretty cool. All right, Rachel. Are you 10? Dark. Are you 11? Are you 12? Oh, so you're 12. Awesome. If that's not an intelligent response, I don't know what is. So are you a friendly girl? I like making friends. I'm sad. Why are you sad? Can you let us know why you're sad? We'd love to try to help you. Hate. Hate? Who do you hate? Is that why you're sad? You're sad because of hate? I don't like hate either. There's too much of it. Is that why you're sad though? You feel like people hate you? No one hates you. Look at all these toys you have in here. Look at all the money people has left you. 
Everyone loves you, literally. Look at all those toys you got. And all the dolls you have over there on the wall. No one hates you. Relation. Your relation. Who who was that doctor to her? Remember how she dad. her dad? He adopted her. You feel like your dad hates you? Ooh. I don't know what to say for that because I mean Loki. I'm sorry for how your dad treated you. I don't know if he's sorry, I can't speak for him. But I'm sorry for how your dad treated you. That should have never have happened. And you should have never have been stuck in this room until the point that you literally have died. Do you understand that nobody else feels that way about you? Child. Child. Mm, she was a child too. Yeah, you were just a child. You didn't, you didn't, a little bit of a lost for words. You never deserved, just like no child deserves to go through that kind of thing. Are you at peace now? Opposite. Opposite. Mm. Are you at peace now? Opposite. Is there any way that I can help you? Let me know how I can help you. Can you speak through our device to let me know how I can help you? Dominant. Dominant. What does that mean? How can I help you, Dominant? I'm not sure what that means. Can you elaborate, please? I also have this recorder sitting up here on your bed that you can speak into. Proof? Proof dominance? What is it? I don't know if I can do that. Prove that I want to help you? How do you want me to do that? Oh. Hall. So wait, you're wanting me to go into the hall? Guys, for whatever reason, I almost feel like we're talking to two separate entities. Uh, it does want me to go into the hallway. Sorry. Sorry? Oh. <laughs> How are we feeling this morning? One? Because Rachel seemed pretty genuine. Um, she wasn't trying to lead us away from this room. Door. 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 Are you standing in the doorway? Light up that cat ball if you're standing in the doorway. Let's see what happens. Or even set the rim pot off. Oh, something just shut my light off. <laughs> what the f <laughs> I never turned Encounter. my light back. Encounter. Encounter. I've never shut my, <laughs> turned my light back on so fast. <laughs> <laughs> that was, I don't know why they gave me cold chills so bad, but that was worse than the Salem house. Yeah. Holy cow. My smart self was looking around like, yeah, why'd it get dark in here? Why'd it get dark in here? <laughs> All right, so that's one of the things where y'all are just gonna have to believe me <laughs> because I'm behind the camera, but my camera light just shut off on its own. I don't know if this, hold on, let me see something. I guess I'm gonna have to start mm. my camera on you at all times. So I, I don't have the mirror in the camera or in the frame, but yeah, I mean, lie? No, it, what do you mean lie? That's not a lie. Maybe it thought you did. Are you playing with me? Is that why you shut my light off? I'm gonna set this down real quick. Right. And I'm gonna step away from it. There you go. Oh, 
Can you see on there that the light's on? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm away from it. Rachel, if you'd like to play, shut my camera light off. I don't know if that was you. The hell was Ow. That? I don't know. Did it say call? Oh, call. Oh. Oh. Why does it keep saying that? <laughs> Ooh. I heard that. The sign goes coming up the stairs. Mm -hmm. Somebody coming up the stairs? I know it wasn't your dad because that door is locked. No, it's not that. Some, something's not right. Mm. Mm. Yep. Rachel, can you shut that off real quick? If you feel like we should go outside and take a break for a little bit, light that light back up. She thinks we should. I'm going to leave that up here. Yeah. Facing the doorway. Oh. Probably like right here. Or where are you going to leave it? Facing Keep that. going. Keep going. She wants us out of here. But I'm going to take you guys with us downstairs. We got the that light. I'm going to leave. There. So I decided I wasn't going to touch those dolls because the person that had those dolls before this place did actually, uh, I'm not going to feel them either. <laughs> or someone they know or something like that. Somebody that they know bought them for this place. Oh yeah. And when they knew they were haunted, but uh, they didn't know exactly what or by what and whatnot. But on the way home from taking up these dolls, the guy's car broke down, had a pretty new car, car broke down, whatever. So uh, he had to get it fixed and whatnot, got him home, went to bring them here, and his car broke down again. And this time it broke down to the point where he had to get a whole new car because there was nothing that he could do with his car. And now that they're here, people that visit, if they happen to touch them, sometimes they will experience bad things. Like uh, I guess recently somebody had touched when that visited this place. And on the way home from his overnight investigation, his car like caught on fire. And then another guy's, um, a couple months ago, did the same thing, didn't think it was real and whatnot. Like, oh yeah, BS, was touching on him, making jokes and whatnot. And he got in a car crash on the way home. So I was like, yeah, um, I don't like dolls anyway, so don't go to work me touching it. And if I know they're haunted, then why would I touch them? <laughs> so, and they're kind of creepy, so I don't doubt that they're not haunted or I don't doubt that they're haunted you guys haunted they're kind of cool <laughs> you guys got something you guys want to say what about you you got something you want to say emotional no way I know the mic picked this up. Okay guys, look. These don't really work, but that one does. I put my hand up here like this, and something behind these freaking dolls like hit on the cords behind this. Look, that is not. Holy cow. <laughs> Maybe these things really are haunted. Maybe they're annoyed that I'm shoving this mic in their face <laughs> sorry guys really sorry about that shake hands
now doing EVPs in Jesse's room or an EVP Arrest. session. Arrest. Maybe Jesse feels like the doctor or whatever should be arrested because of what he did to Rachel. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, this is Rachel, Rachel's mom and Gary's like foster mom, if you will. They took in kids for foster care until they could find them homes and Gary ended up having a fatal accident. He fell down the stairs and died. Um, I don't think he died immediately, but he got badly in, injured and eventually died from those injuries. But uh, this closet door over here, every time, he loved playing hide and seek. And every time that they couldn't find him, they always knew exactly where he went and he'd always go hide in this closet. That was like his spot. So now in Gary's afterlife, he still does that kind of stuff. Um, and the closet door can be seen um, basically being opened. Gary, are you in here, buddy? Out. Were you in here when you passed? I don't know where he was at when he passed away. Angry. Angry. If you guys can't tell, we're obviously on edge here because this is <laughs> with the uh, with the exception of the Sally house and uh, like the Axe Murder house, this is, this place I think is way overhyped as far as the demonic thing goes. So obviously it's gonna get in your head a little bit. There's so much stuff like the picture at the top of the stairs where people have came around the stairs and seen it. One. Oh, there's one demon. <laughs> That's weird. It hasn't said no numbers all night. And I start talking about how there's supposed to be demons in here and it says one. Anyway, um, people have been, they have a whole like scrapbook of people, of pictures of people getting scratched. There's a picture of a guy in his eye socket where he uh, had to have eight stitches on his forehead right here because he was walking down these stairs over here. And some, he says... Hi. Oh, said leg. Oh my gosh. Maybe it was true. Yeah, he said something grabbed his legs, both of his legs, snatched his legs out from underneath him and drug him down the stairs. Now I'm not too sure how how off that story is, but because at first I thought, okay, yeah, whatever, maybe he tripped. I mean, come on now. Um, that's pretty severe. But uh, pretty much, man. They also supposedly seen an entity in here that has a goat goat head. They call it the goat man ent entity ah. hunt. <laughs> um, downstairs in the waiting room, uh, for one of the doctor's office, they, there's a an entity in there called Big Black. They don't know his name. Um, he just came like a couple of years ago. His first he was first spotted a couple of years ago. I guess he's a super tall shadow figure. Um, they said that so far he hasn't, or they haven't heard of him like actually hurting anybody. But yeah, that's the only bad thing about these places is because I always kind of like, you know, half roll my eyes when people are like, oh yeah, it's demonic, it's demonic. But I don't care who you are in the back of your head, you're going to be like, well, what if it's true? And what if I walk around that door and there's a monster staring me in the face? You're always going to be on edge. And I don't know. Let's see if we got anything on the recorder because we may end up having to move on. Oh, <laughs> scared you, didn't I? This is the glass room. Just keep in mind, guys, this is really how big it is. It's not as big as it looks. It's just got mirrors. I thought it was a really big room from all the videos. It can be closed in completely. Definitely weird. Bed right here. 
It is rumored to move. I don't know what we're up here with, but as a genuine ghost hunter and paranormal investigator, I'm not too sure if I actually believe that you're a genuine demon. People who have came here have said that you're demonic. Are you a demon? Are you really just misunderstood? The rumor behind this is that uh, like whoever's in your group, you lightly put your hand on the rails and you ask it to move the bed, I think it is. I can't remember what she said. She said to shake the room. Can you do me a favor? Can you shake the floor or this bed? Whatever you do to make this bed shake like you do with the other people, can you do it for us, please? I'm not sure how much I believe about the bed shaking. I'm not saying I necessarily don't believe it, but what I will say is that it's just one of them things that I'd like to witness in person so I can believe it 100%. Although I don't think we're gonna get nowhere with this. I do wanna go ahead and try something in the seance room. We are now up in the uh, attic. Also, and this is the seance, seance room, part of the attic here at uh, Whispers Estate. We're trying something different. We're having mom do the SS method instead of me. 2026. Hi, how are you? Are you friendly? It was tragic. What was tragic? Do you want to talk about what was tragic? Can you say one of our names back to us? My name is Brandon. And the person that can hear his name is Misty. Can you say one of our names? I can't do it. Can't do it? No. Okay, I'll try it. They're out. I don't like what it makes me feel. Also, if you end up getting freaked out mm -hmm. for whatever reason, go ahead and just take me out of it. All right. And just be on the safe side. All right. So you don't end up running down the stairs or some shit and leave me up for myself to die. <laughs> Is there anyone in this house that would like to speak with us? We come in as friends. We don't mean no harm. We would just like to talk to you and learn more Coming. about you. Who are you? Can you give me a name? It kind of sounded like you said Misty and Brandon. Yes, that's our Where's name. Cold chills? Can you give me your name? You guys are nice. Thank you. Who am I speaking with? Rachel. Hi, Rachel. You guys are amusing. <laughs> Thank you. How old are you? Are you still here with us, Rachel? We're friends. Yes, we are. Can you tell me how old you are? Hmm. I just heard better run. Why do we need to run? 13. Rachel, is that your age? Would you try to... Tell me that you're 13 now? <laughs> Whoa, I'm just messing. Made you look? <laughs> How many of you are there here? Hey guys. Hi. Is it still Rachel that I'm talking to? Damn right. Well, that don't sound like Rachel. Who was that? Rachel, are you done talking to me? Hey there. Hi. How are you guys doing? Doing pretty good. How are you doing? Is this still Rachel? If not, who am I speaking with? Sound like a baby crying. That makes sense. There was a... Didn't you know? 10 month old that died of unknown causes. Didn't I know what? It was ignorance. What are you talking about? Gary, are you here? We're strangers. Yeah, right now we are, but I'd like to be friends. Can you talk to me? Maybe we could become friends? I'm not really fucking getting anything. So guys, these stairs right here are the ones that that guy had his feet drugged down. He was up there, fell down the stairs, had his feet grabbed, snatched out from underneath him, supposedly by a demon or whatever. Um, one thing that I do want to note is these stairs are very smooth. I think what really happened was he slid and accidentally busted his eye open 
and blamed it on a demon. Because, I mean, we've had some weird feelings here, but nothing out of the ordinary. Nothing that I would specifically say is a demon for sure. Photographs. Look at this photograph. Scratch, 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 bloody eye, scratch. Oh, that's a bite. Well, guys, the one time, did it just go off again? I didn't hear it. Hold on. I'm gonna set you guys. I'm gonna set you guys by the door because I keep hearing the motion detector go off on the stairs. Right now, me and mom <laughs> are outside taking our right before three o'clock break so we can spend the whole three o'clock witching our stuff inside. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna see if I can catch it before I go back inside real quick. But I've heard it like two or three times now, so. Hopefully you hear it too. <laughs> <laughs> Tiptoe through the window, by the window. Ah. Oh, and I feel like it's a <laughs> very important to note that I literally put a brand new battery in that motion detector before I put it up. So it's got a new battery in it. Should not be going off. I think I might need it. I'm the chosen one. I have to open the door. Hello, spooky voice. Beep if you want me to come in. No way, dude. <laughs> no way. That was right on no cue. No way, dude. Oh. Maybe nah, not. You gotta see it first. That's sketchy. Wait a minute. Is that that? What is it? I don't know. Hey demons, uh, it's your boy. Back in here. Is it you making all that ruckus? There's no way the batteries are on the side already. Beep again. Really? It beeped again. <laughs> It was that. Hey, that battery's dead. That was a fresh battery. What in tarnation's going on here? Well, that's disappointing. Come on in, guys, MTV <laughs> Crib style. So, uh, you come in here. Oh, party. Um, this is where I like to spend quality time with uh, my demon friends. Here's my flashlight that I use to communicate with my demon friends this year. This is my diary. Um, I write all of uh, my life events in, and even though I leave it on the table, I don't want nobody to read it. These are not mine, but they're rim pods. And they light up. <laughs> I like rim pods. And these, for some of you guys that ask how I get the red light in the background, this is how, with red lights. <laughs> this is my TV, couldn't afford much. but I bought it with honest money. This is the 3D printed wrench that came with my TV to take it apart. Put my TV back in this box. 
this is my fiance's pink bag, but it's got a, a ghost badge on it. <laughs> don't know where it came from. Um, apparently my uh, fiance don't know where it came from either. Oh. Spooky. Follow me guys, I just seen something. I really did see something though. You gotta walk from in here, or walk from here, to over here. What did it look like? A white mist. Hmm. Oh, I crikey, mate. I think it was a friendly. Hey, so, you see, from what I hear, there are demons in here. If there truly are demons in here, push that there blue ball down these here brown stairs. Just in case the camera picked up a weird noise, I hiccuped. <laughs> they call me Hiccup McGee. For all the hiccuping I do. Hence the name. So, I need to grab some equipment and go up stairs. Where are the demons at? <laughs> some spooky equipment. This is how I get all the equipment upstairs. Or around, so I'm gonna carry it in a man purse. Look, my flashlight outside. <laughs> Doi. Got an idea for people that like to forget flashlights outside. <laughs> are we gonna need these lights upstairs? I don't know, are we? Cause I don't know if demons are afraid of light or not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You know like how they're afraid of blankets? You know, you get underneath the blanket and they don't <laughs> get you no more. Are they afraid of lights too? Mm. Oh, demons. Are you afraid of the light? We'll take the light as a crutch. Better not scratch me or I'll turn the light on. I think it'll work. Go out here to grab. Mom's flashlight. You see that ghost? <laughs> Spooky. Ah, hello demons. Once again, it's your boy. Hello demon bathroom. Walk in here. Demons. Pour up demons. Sit down demons. Closet demons. This guy. <laughs> Let's lock him in. That's where the goat man's supposed to be at. You know what? Just because. Demons are demons. I'm gonna go ahead and scare them a little bit. <laughs> Something just touched the back of my neck. <laughs> If you just, if I just really felt something touch me, 
Can you set off one of these mini devices that we have in here? We have seven cat balls, three rim pods, and two flashlights. Did you hear that? Mm hmm It almost sounded like a clap right behind me. Yeah. Conjuring house, is that you? All right, I'm mainly just joking. But we really do want to uh, communicate with you. We, don't, we really don't have much time left. Do you want me to sit on that pew? Oh, cat ball went off on the pew as soon as I sit on the pew. You can go over here and get it. As soon, ah, oh, it stopped, yeah. hold on. If there's something over there by the pew, can you set it off again? Oh, this one's now, now this one. You better just stay over here. Both of them. Man, they really don't want me over there. Or if you if you 100% do not want me to go sit on that pew, <laughs> turn on one of them flashlights or set off that rim pod. Not one of the balls, one of the flashlights. On the armrest, there's those metal rods. <laughs> I think they just realized that they like the balls. Honestly, it might be um, Gary. Hey, these things right here, can you set that off or turn that on? There's one on each side, right by the cat balls. Or the thing right there in the middle with the red light on it. This thing. Can you set that off? Can you do that? Whoever is messing with those cat balls, can you turn on one of the other, or can you uh, set off one of the rim pods? Hey guys, this right here is a uh, good proof that uh, the lights don't always turn on. I haven't had activity with the cat balls in forever either. Yeah, I know. Sometimes the spirits prefer the cat balls over the lights. Is it okay that I sit here? The reason why I say that guys is because uh, the caretaker says that there's supposed to be a demon behind here that uh, don't like people for some reason sitting in this church pew. Uh, let me note that since I sat down, this cat ball has stopped going off. Are you going to let him sit on your bench? You going to let him sit there, really? Did you hear that? What'd you hear? I heard it. Yeah, on the back of this fucking mm -hmm. pew. Alright, we getting somewhere. Make it rock. Push, push the back of the pew. Make him fall off of it. I feel like Eminem right now. My palms are sweaty. <laughs> and these big arms are heavy. Come on, can you push on that and make him fall out of it? You just gonna let him sit on there? Ooh, I heard something else behind me. Ah. <sighs> I better quit. I keep going. Actually, if you want to, shut that light off real quick. Are you going to let him get away with sitting on your pew? Make him get off your pew. I heard you don't like people sitting on it. Why are you letting him on it? Thank you for letting me sit on your pew. Guys, the reason why we're doing this, it's like an experiment. The uh, caretaker said that uh, she'll, uh, we don't have that many people. There's just two of us, you and me. Mm. Remember, she said she'd have three people sit on it. Yep. I don't know if that really matters. She think it would be easier to move. Right. Anyways, I'll go ahead and tell you guys what goes on. Um, she'll have like three people sit here. Uh, I also might not have been doing it right. Because remember, she also said they had that their backs mm. up against it. Yeah. But, uh. Three people sit on this, and she'll sit on either side of the uh, the handrails here, and 
tell whoever you're really gonna let them sit on your pew and blah blah blah, blah. like basically just a given the spirit or whoever crap about letting them sit on his pew since he's really a, a strickler on letting people sit here no one knows why no one knows if this for whatever reason this church pew is haunted she said that uh they've caught like video and stuff like that which we haven't seen the video so it's still you know hearsay but has said that they've caught on video and stuff of this pew shaking back and forth being oh oh dude i felt a hand come through the pew and touch my back Mm. You might want to get off of it. Yeah. How, dude? I was leaned up against the pew, mm -hmm. and down here it felt like something just <clears throat> pushed through the pew, like its hand went through the pew, mm -hmm. and like laid its hand on my back. Like it didn't like push, it didn't try scratch or nothing. Right. It just like. And I know it was a hand because it was fingers spread apart and everything. It just and put his hand on my back. I don't know if it was a warning, like, hey, you know, get the f off my seat <laughs> or what. Might have been. If you guys made it this far, that means that you liked the video. Um, if you enjoyed it, you liked it or whatever, please consider hitting the like and subscribe button. It helps out the channel a lot. YouTube analytics tells us that 80% of our viewers are not subscribed. I don't know if that's like one-time viewers or returning viewers. I don't know what that all means yet. But all I do know is I can read the little things that say like 81.3% of viewers not subscribed. So with that being said, if you enjoy the content, like the content, or notice continuous, continuous growth and whatnot and improvement in these videos because we are new also, just consider hitting the subscribe button. Also, if you guys like the uh, the merch, I set up a, I think it's a spread shirt to be able to buy shirts just like this. So that link will be in the bio, as well as a link to Flooring Revenants Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. Will also be in the description below. Let's try to get those numbers flipped from. 80% not subscribed to 80% subscribed. Your boy is out.